Well, it's no secret L.A. is in the grips of a homeless crisis, but tonight there are questions about the latest homeless count, which show things getting better. Investigative reporter David Goldstein, homeless people actually laughed when you told them what this agency is saying. Yeah, some of the homeless laugh at the numbers. Uh, they don't believe them. A lot of people don't believe them. Officials from the L.A. Homeless Services Authority, or LASA, said the number of homeless in L.A. County up only 4% this year, compared with double digits in previous years. Now, the numbers seem to defy what we see on the streets, and even some homeless find it laughable. You know, Lhasa came back in this area here with zero people homeless living on the street. <laughs> wow, that's funny. Bill Young and his friends could only laugh. Oh, him, my baby. They're homeless, living with their dogs, they say, for six years in these vans in the parking lot of the Westminster Dog Park in Venice. And they're not alone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cars in this parking lot alone. Plus these guys that sleep right here. That's their unofficial count of the homeless in the park. But the official 2022 count by the L.A. Homeless Services Authority, or LASA, showed the total unsheltered population in this area, zero. I think it's bull****, excuse my language. Here, here's proof. Good morning. But at their press conference announcing the homeless count, LASA officials were upbeat. There are lots of, of good things in the, in the numbers today. They claim the number of homeless went up just 4.1% in L.A. County from 2020 to 2022, and up just 1.7% in the city of L.A. during the same period. The numbers are suggesting that there's a flattening of the curve. But are the numbers accurate? Did Lhasa get it right in this precinct? Lhasa did not get the count right. Nowhere close, nowhere near. Jessica Rogers was one of yeah. thousands who volunteered to count the homeless back in February. I was scared for my life. She went block by block in the same area where Bill Young and his friends live in Venice. Where Lhasa showed zero, she counted 297 and inputted it here on the app provided by Lhasa. But she says that app continuously crashed. She ended up texting in the information, but her 297 was reported as zero. I remember very well what I saw and where I saw it and what it was like. And to find out that Lhasa recorded zero people on the streets that night is heartbreaking and gut-wrenching. Are you questioning some of these numbers? Yes, we're questioning some of these numbers. And she's not alone. Dan Flaming is with the Economic Roundtable, a nonprofit research group. He had 94 people who were unsheltered in 2020, and then in this year's count, it had zero. He's going through the numbers and found some hard to explain. He found roughly half of the areas counted had fewer unsheltered homeless in 2022 compared to the last count in 2020. And 335 areas that had reported unsheltered homeless in 2020 now reporting zero. Do you believe those numbers? It's hard to reconcile with what I see as I drive around the city. Lhasa is the same agency where we caught employees throwing cases of food in the dumpster that were supposed to go to the homeless. The agency has an $800 million budget and has been under attack by both the city and county for not doing enough to combat the homeless problem. What do they say? You know, numbers don't lie, but people lie. Jay Handel chairs the Homeless Committee for the L.A. Neighborhood Councils. You think they actually manipulated the numbers? I wouldn't count it out. I would definitely not count it out because, again, knowing how unhappy the county and the city are with Lhasa, it would not shock me. Is Lhasa purposely manipulating the numbers? to make it look better on the streets? Absolutely not. Lhasa's Molly Reisman says the count is just an estimate. She admits the app was a problem. But it didn't work. I wouldn't say it didn't work. It, there were some challenges. But she maintains it was an accurate count. These people counted what would amount to 297 unhoused individuals, and your count came back as zero unhoused. How do you explain that? Because our goal is to get a regional estimate. And assigning the data per census tract was complicated this year because of some of the technological issues. 
We believe we got the best regional estimate we could. But to those living on the streets, they say their count is the one that counts. It's never been zero. Actually, right now, it's probably the highest I've ever seen that. And while Lhasa maintains the numbers are as accurate as they can be, they did say they have dumped the company that created that app that was used in the last count. They're replacing it with another one. And one hopefully works a little bit better than that one. Um, when is the next count? The next count will be early next year. All right. Well, let's hope it works then. <laughs> All right, thank you, David. Thanks, Pat. And if you have a story idea for David, just call our CBS2 Investigates tip line at 818-655-2442 or email us at cbs2investigates at cbs.com and your story just might be David's next investigation.